Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 5th, 2021. If you like support John, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new series, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the gray bridge pound in the US dollar. And the first of all, US dollar has started to appreciate, and that of course affects the gray bridge pound. It also basically affects all of these currency, but especially the gray bridge pound euro and also the Aussie US dollar have been hit by that appreciation. So if you look at the um, gray bridge pound of US dollar, we can see that we're down 0.27% today. We did test the 100 moving average and then got rejected and ended right at the 50 moving average. At this point, if the US dollar continues to appreciate, it's um, more likely that we are going to retest the 200 moving average and break below that, that could open the door to the 300 moving average yet again. And that's a drop of roughly 2% to the downside. So we are overbought at this current stage. MACD is turning around, still is still bullish, but it is uh, turning around here. The RSI is bullish, CCI, CCI is also bullish, and the stochastic is very bearish. Break right below the middle of the bullish band, that could open the door all the way back down to the bottom of the bullish band, which is roughly uh, where we found uh, the bottom the last time. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. This has really rallied from the 150 moving average, tested the 100 moving average, and then pulled back. We were significantly overstretched, but it looks like we are forming a channel here and we're making a lower lows. So we're just going lower, lower, and we are rallying up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and then breaking down. So this doesn't really mean that we are going to see this uh, uh, currency pair basically break above the 50 moving average. Uh, if we get rejected here and then fall further than the 200 moving average, will most likely come into play 107. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and stochastic is bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside. And we are far, far away from this uh, really nice channel that we were channel that we were in from roughly uh, mid-April all the way to the end of June. We have completely changed direction in this market. So Euro, US dollar, very similar. We rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then got really, really rejected here. And that is um, the 50 moving average. We have tested it three times before. You can see it here, here, here. And today we basically touched it and then we basically just completely collapsed. We are just above the middle of the bullish band. Break up uh, below here. We'll open the door to a fall of roughly 0 0.77. And that's the very uh, the lows here. We should find support as we uh, found a lot of support down here. Uh, but break below here, then 11.70 comes into play and then 11.60 and then much lower than that. If the US dollar continues to appreciate, then that will work against uh, the euro and the US dollar. The MACD is still bullish, but it is turning around. The RSI is bearish, so CCI is um, bullish, and stochastic is very bearish. So, yes, momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage, and rejection at the 50 moving average here kind of shows that we are most likely going to test these previous lows again. So, also US dollar, we are also just, um, well, having pr trouble at the... Uh, 20 exponential, we can see that we got rejected here, got rejected here, yet again here, and a little bit here, and now yet again, we are having trouble at the 20 exponential. We, if we look at technical indicators, we can see that they are, well, they are favoring the upside. I just don't think that if the US dollar uh, starts to appreciate that this will start to rally. It's more likely that we'll uh, retest these lows, and if they that breaks, then 0 0.70, will most likely come into play at that point. We have the 40 and the 50 moving average just above, and those will also act as a significant um, resistance. We did rally quite a bit today and gave all of those gains back, and even more than that. We're down 0 0.34 uh, at this point, and um, another red candlestick here tomorrow, then we'll most likely go and test these previous lows. So MACD is bullish, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is, um, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is also bullish, but this is not looking really good here. Break below the middle of the bullish band here, 
that could easily open the door to the bottom, a drop of roughly 1% to the downside. So let's look at the US, US dollar and the CAD. We can see that we are, we found support at the 150 moving average. We have rallied roughly 1% since then, and we're just above the 20 exponential. Take about, take, uh, if we break above these previous candlesticks here, then the 300 moving average comes into play yet again. And appreciation of the US dollar, uh, of course, will uh, make this continue going higher. The uh, oil is also dropping and that usually, uh, this usually um, is um, negative correlated with oil. And uh, as long as that is the case, this will also most likely continue going higher. MACD is uh, bearish, the CC RSI is bearish, the CCI is becoming, is basically flat at this point, stochastic is bullish, and we have tested the middle of the bullish band break above here, and then it is fairly likely that we will go to the top, and that's a rally roughly 1.19% to the upside, right at the 300 moving average, and that is going to be where this is tested, a break above the 300, then this will go long term significantly higher, just considering how far this market has dropped since last year. It went roughly 12.6% to the downside before uh, kind of looking like it is correcting at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. You're on the support channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.